Welcome to Space World. Let's go. Hello, it's me, Hyperness. Huh. I think that's the first time I said my name on this channel. Hmm. Anyways, we're gonna be talking about some Rayman spin-offs, starting with Rayman 1 on the Game Boy Color. Man, this game takes me back. It was one of the first games I've gotten in a retro store I used to go to years ago. I remember the days trying to beat it at night using a Game Boy Advance SP, and that probably explains why I can never sleep. So let's start the game. Whoa, this game has cutscenes? Already, the system is pushing its limits. The story is much like the first game, but it's a little different. Mr. Dark is stealing the Electoons and taking over the land. The fairy, inside the team, wakes Rayman up and tells him what's going on. And Rayman needs to stop Mr. Dark once again and free the Electoons. So already, this feels different from Rayman 1. You start with Punch and Hanging on Ledges. So this is Spellbound, your typical forest level. Pretty much how every other Rayman game starts out. Oh yeah, and each world has 3 to 4 levels in them. Which is a pretty small amount. Alright. Ah, ah, the cage music! Jeez! So yeah, there's only like one or two cages to break in this game instead of six. Airy Tunes! Yeah, it's just Banlam. And it's actually pretty balanced. There's a little horn, and when you jump on him, he springs up, and you can use him to get up areas. Wait, you just get the helicopter just like that? Man, characters from the first game don't get any respect. So now we're entering brand new stages that's not from the original Rayman. Rainy Forest. It's got a neat background, and it's got good use of a helicopter. There's not much to say about it, but it's still a decent world. Next is Rocky Peak. Huh. Looks like a cave to me. This one has ice and spikes to jump over. This one is fun. There's one level where you go through sections, and completing them takes you back to the beginning. And clouds spawn and takes you to another section to go through. The reason to do this is to spawn the clouds here so you can cross. And no, you can't damage boost this. And you have one level where you get to fly around. Because Rayman ate some weird plant. Uh, okay, sure. Next world is Ancient Forest. This one's my favorite. It's got weird statues and horns that helps you get up to places. And it's probably one of the prettiest stages in the game. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we got the grab ring power. So I have all the powers now. I missed the run power already. Fury Depths. It's a cave level with lava, spikes, and an evil ring that hurts you, but you can grab him. There's also a level where lava starts rising, and another level where you can fly freely. Arkin Forest. Wait, there's four forest worlds? Uh, well, this place is spooky. It's pretty easy to lose lives if you're not careful. There's actually some tight jumps here and there. Uh-oh, it's Dark Rayman. Or, Bad Rayman. Why do you have so many evil clones? Okay, I won't lie, this Dark Rayman is a little more challenging compared to Rayman 1. Next, our controls are reversed. This picture confused me at first. I wasn't sure why Rayman was staring at the pawn. So I took a closer look and... Oh, his reflection is not matching. Man, that is trippy. Yeah, this one can be tricky if you're not used to reverse controls. We've made it to Mr. Dark. Okay, Mr. It's just you and me now. Come out. You're messing with the wrong guy's friends. Sheesh, and I thought my grammar was terrible. Okay, so in the first phase, he starts raining fire. When he turns into a ball, you want to hit him three times. Get out of here. Second phase, he shoots fireballs at you. And in the third phase, he shoots lightning at you, which goes on for too long. And we beat him. His soul flies away, and we can rest. Wait, he's not defeated? Wow, oh, it's just the electrons playing a little trick. Ha <laughs> uh, But yeah, we beat the game. Or did we? If you put in the password after beating the game, you'll be taken to the level select. And once you break all the cages, a secret world will be unlocked, called Dark Legacy Extra. This world will test your skills. There's tight jumps, scary music playing, and many traps. This was so cool when I discovered this the first time. Once you beat all the stages, you will have access to all the time trials. Aw, oh, hell yeah! And that's Rayman for the Game Boy Color. It's a pretty solid game. It was pretty nostalgic playing this again. This is probably one of the prettiest games on the Game Boy Color, and the difficulty is actually balanced. Although it's good and all, there are some things that's holding it back. 
There's no saving, so instead you have to use passwords, which I never like using passwords. Though you could just take a snapshot of the password so you don't have to write it down. Or if you're playing it on emulator, you can use save states. But don't forget the password after beating Mr. Dark. Speaking of which, this game lacks enemy variety. You barely see any new enemies, and Mr. Dark is the only boss. And I think it's due to the cutscenes taking up the Game Boy Color space. But I still think it's an enjoyable game. It's kind of sad that it's only on the Game Boy Color. It did got re-released on the 3DS, which is shut down, and that's it. Or so I thought. So I did some research, and apparently it did got re-released on other devices, called the Palm OS and Pocket PC. What are those? Well, they're kind of like iPhones from the early 2000s. You can call, text, play around with apps, and play games. What's different about this port is the sprites are recolored, Rayman is more detailed, and it has save files. Sadly, this version is extremely rare. I tried to find a way to play it on emulator, but I couldn't get any luck. As of right now, there are two people who have shown gameplay of the Palm OS and Pocket PC versions. But that's it for Rayman on Game Boy Color. Now let's talk about Rayman 2 on Game Boy Color, cause might as well. So this one doesn't start with a cutscene, but it does have save files. Thank goodness. It tells the story of Rayman 2 on console, but it's in a slideshow. I like this image of Rayman looking badass, and Globox is just like, uh, uh, yeah. And starting out, it- wait, wait a minute. This is just Rayman 1 on Game Boy Color! I remember getting this when I was little, and it disappointed me. What do I think about it now? It's still disappointing, but beating it is bearable. There's like, no enemies, and a lot of the later levels feel like a maze. There is one part in Sanctuary and Rock and Lava, where I jumped down here and almost fell into spikes. I'm not sure how I survived that, but okay. And Cave of Bad Dreams is actually creepy. Like, look at this eye. Oh... It's just frustrating. On one side, I'm trying to collect lums, but on the other hand, I don't want to drop down into a pit where there's no way back up, thinking I missed something. And I don't always know where the exit can be. The characters barely exist in this version. Poor Sam the Snake is reduced to a moving platform. But hey, Lee the Fairy gives you more than one power, and they're all the super helicopter. Lee, why are you so lame compared to Batilla? Even the art for the cutscenes doesn't look that great. I mean, they're not all bad, but there are some really stanky Raymans. That was the one thing I like about the first game. The cutscenes look very detailed, even the ones in the options have pretty backgrounds in them. Also, the director for this game showed sketches years later, which is so cool to see. For Rayman 2, it looks like they just took the renders from Rayman 2 and convert them into sprites. But hey, it has two bosses! and they're just the robot pirates. The only difference is one you can cheese and the other you can't cheese. After beating the second pirate, the game just kinda ends with no music in the credits. Oh yeah, you unlock level select and it's not as cool as the first one. Man, two is such a downgrade from one. I mean, it's far from the worst Rayman game. It's still a functional game, it's just that there's better 2D Rayman games to play. So that being said, you should give Game Boy Color Rayman a look. For Rayman 2, I'd probably give it a pass unless you really want to play it. And I'll see you later. Oh, by the way, in the Japanese version, they gave Rayman an extra finger. You're welcome.